Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Let's see what comes up. Whatever comes up, comes out. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, do like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. All links are below. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Where is Aquarius right now? Let's see. Where's Aquarius right now? I've tried to do your reading three times today. It's just, I don't know. Let's see. Where's Aquarius right now? Message. You're either waiting for a message. You got a good news message. It will come into you maybe in seven days. Okay. Luck. Luck is on your side. Whatever this message is, is something you want to hear. Okay, so let's see. What does Aquarius not know? Thoughts that somebody's thinking of you. It's a seven also. 16 reduces to seven. Could be a man thinking of a woman. Could be a woman thinking of a man. Someone strategizing on how they can come back. Painting pictures in their mind, in their head. Maybe thoughts of when you guys were together. This could be reminiscing nostalgia all of that you know um you may be separated from this person okay so this came out in reverse good fortune in reverse maybe it wasn't fortunate to be with this person or they were stagnating good luck uh, opportunity growth movement all right so in the near future where will aquarius be in the near future where will Aquarius be? Okay, toil and labor. All right, something's hard work, labor. I don't know if you're manifesting hard work. We gotta clarify that. Why is toil and labor here for Aquarius in the near future? Okay, marriage. So you got to go into a season of maybe a lot of work um an abundance of work maybe a lot of people calling on you you're going to marry yourself to your job okay one more card for in the near future yeah different pathway here um so this is an eight an abundance of more than enough a new path opening up for you I don't, you may create something new. It's going to take a lot of your time, your energy. You may travel the roadways or you drive or something like that. You're really going to marry yourself to making something happen, to making it work, to putting a lot of energy, effort, time into it. You're not going to give up. This could be overtime. This could be, you know, getting two or three jobs. What is this? Yeah, occupation. So you're going to marry yourself to your occupation. You want to see complete and utter change in whatever it is you're doing. So you're going to keep going. You're not going to let up. Why is message here for Aquarius? Where Aquarius is right now. So you could be waiting for the approval, the yes answer. Um, it's a good news message here. Why is message here for the Aquarius? Okay, so we've got um, the page of wands showing up. Good news about maybe money, a large sum of money, your hard work paying off. You just coming out renewed in something. You've done the hard work. Uh, you have submitted all the paperwork. You have done what you needed to do. You're just waiting for the good news. Okay, all right, so let's see. This thoughts and good, great fortune in the reverse. In regards to you being with somebody. Because it looks like it's a relationship. What is this about for the Aquarius? Horse. Somebody was, or horse, horses? I don't know. Um, Maybe you had horse or, or you had a horse or horses. It was kind of draining your finances. You're trying to think of a way of how to get rid of them. You also may have been dealing with somebody who was like a wild horse. They were just untamed. Maybe you were just like casting your pearls to the swine, just really just throwing your time, your energy, your love, your devotion, everything away 
to somebody who could care less, a horse, somebody who was wild, free. They didn't want to be captive. Now they're thinking about you, maybe that you've left or there's a separation here. Sometimes they say horses do what they want. I don't know, you know, so, so it was like maybe you tried to tame this horse. It was, you, you tried to break them or they tried to break you. Somebody was just unbreakable. In the near future, we have Aquarius kind of marrying themselves to their work. Um, a really strong work, work ethic. What is going on here for Aquarius? Nasty white shirt. When they had me make this card, I don't know what this is about. I don't know. Maybe your work is you going to get dirty. What is this about? Self-employment, the king of wands. No, I'm sorry, the queen of wands. So you just could be really, really, really focused to the point where maybe you're going to give little to no attention or time to your cleanliness. I don't know, Aquarius. Nasty white shirt. What is this? Self-employment with the Queen of Wands coming out. Family. We've got magical, seductive. Sexy. Somebody's got some fantasy about you. I don't know. Oh, yeah. So nasty white shirt is somebody got some nasty, dark sexual fantasies that they may want to play out with you with the star card and the page of cups with the nasty white shirt coming out. So white shirts are supposed to be white. They're not supposed to be nasty white shirt. <clears throat> oh, so if, a, if the white shirt supposed to be white. But this one is nasty. So it's like maybe somebody looks at you as like pure and innocent, maybe even a little bit naive. And they want to get nasty with you or they want to bring you down to the dark side, especially with the Queen of Wands coming out. And the Queen of Wands talks about sex and sexual fantasy. And yeah, it's like somebody, somebody could be trying hard in the near future to get you to be occupied on them or they're... They're really going to be going hard with the sexual magic that they're throwing at you. Um, I don't know what they're doing. Like masturbation. It could be anything. Whatever they're doing, they're trying to get you to turn your head and be occupied on them. There's also somebody here who's just going to be occupied on self-employment. While somebody else is going to be occupied on the Aquarius, like trying to get the Aquarius to change their mind about maybe coming down to the dark side. Yeah, the Hierophant with the five of, so it's like somebody wants you to, I mean, like this little pious type um, structure that you have about yourself. They want you to, this is like friskiness. This is sexual chemistry, arousal. Like somebody wants to ignite that with you because they see you as like pure and they want to get you dirty. They want the nat they want the white shirt to be the nasty white shirt. Somebody could even be like you you used to be like that. Like wh why are you changing now, Aquarius? Let's see what else do we have coming out for Aquarius. So it's like you're going to be trying to be focused on your money, your career, maybe establishing your career. And this person is going to be trying hard to get you to focus on them. And it's all for like a sexual conquest ploy. Um, they're offering much of nothing. Like they, they want to romance you so that they can have sex with you. They want adventure. They want an escapade. You know, it's kind of what they're getting. 
what I'm getting here. Let's see what else is happening for Aquarius. The big payback. Um, okay. So hair, either you have a lot or somebody has none or I don't know. Somebody wears a wig. That was my best drawing of a wig. Okay. Anyway, um, you could be dealing with somebody who's going bald or this could be indicative of you having dealt with somebody for a long time. I'm also getting like your antenna is up. Like you're getting spiritual messages about this person trying to come back into your life. Yeah. With the Knight of Wands coming out, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Like lust, you know, um, it's some, like a charmer. Someone's trying to charm you. They've done this before. Or you've, you know, you've allowed them to come back before and do this. This could be it's like fast action. This could be Sagittarius. This could be somebody who wants to get lucky with you. What is going on for Aquarius? There could be like quick, fast hair growth. It says apply. You know, I don't know. Because we had the message come out first. So whatever it is, you need to apply for it. Because you're going to get good news. Apply yourself. Apply. Apply for school. What is happening for Aquarius? All right. So we got drama, 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 chameleon. So we got somebody here who acts like they're not drama, but they're, they're drama chameleon. Like they will act, oh, I'm not really drama. I hate drama. Those are normally the people who bring all the drama. So somebody is coming with the theatrics, the song and dance, the drama. Maybe your life has been quiet, you know, and here they come. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups, your life has been quiet. You've been kind of maybe shut in. You've kind of closed down, um, kind of recluse, reflective. You know, and you're loyal, you're open, but you're closed. You, you know, you're open to give advice or be nice. But at the same time, you're kind of elusive. You're just trying to maintain your emotional stability. And here's somebody come with the drama. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, maybe a female. It could be a man also. Let's see. Um, so you got the Knight of Cups. So you get definitely. So you get the Knight of Wands and you get the Knight of Cups. So you get somebody coming back from the past. Their flirt. Their flight risk. They want romance. They want you to fall in love with them again. They want to take you to dinner. They want to give you flowers. They want to say the sweet nothings in your ear. This is somebody who has unrealistic expectations in love. Like they don't, they think relationships are just fun and games. They don't think, they don't think about it like you would think about it in terms of going to work or a job. You know, you've got to show up for the job. You've got to work the job or you're going to get fired, right? Same with relationships. You got to show up for the relationship. You got to work it. You got to put work into it or you go get fired, right? You got somebody's going to leave or someone's going to check out. But this is a person who doesn't want to put work into relationships. This is somebody here who um, once the work part comes or starts, they want to leave. You could be coming into like royalty or just a very luxurious lifestyle. The purple card. Yep. Recompense, reward, repayment, reimbursement, recovery. So you could have lost a lot, Aquarius, maybe by your own doing, the you know, others, you know, plotting on your fall, your demise. It looks like, yeah, you're going to get renewal. You're going to get a clean slate. You're going to get blessings. You're going to manifest. Yeah, there was like some she-devil, somebody who just didn't want to see if she probably looks just like this too. 
um, didn't want to see you aspire, their name could first, last, could start with either one of these letters, A, T, C, K, W, R, E. This is somebody who just didn't, maybe they were even kind of like doing spells to keep you bound or keep you down. Or this was like extreme gossip, slander, you know, negative talk against you. You know, words have power, whether they were said to you or behind your back. Maybe this is somebody who's always talking negative about you. Wow, the big payback is coming for you, Aquarius. Pay to the order of Aquarius. There's a lot of messages coming to you. With the bird or birds or birds may be significant in your life or around you or every time you step outside, you're seeing birds. Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius here. What's happening for Aquarius? Red bird, blue bird, a hummingbird. Okay, those are okay. lightning. I know it's sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So all of a sudden, Aquarius, you might go from zero to a hundred. Like you get some good news. Um where you can just move on. The golden mirror is self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So you get that person wanting to come back. You know, they're narcissists though. Self-absorbed. Date. So you might meet someone new. Dating, getting back, back out there, planning a date. You may have just broken up with someone, separation, silent treatment, abandonment. So you just left somebody. And now that's why they're thinking about you. You just didn't see any growth. It wasn't changing. It was just taking from you. Let's see. Abundance is coming. Yes. And definitely, maybe there was a woman here dealing with a snake. So the narcissistic, empathic par paradigm. You were being charmed, especially with the Knight of Wands coming out twice. You know, um, you just had to put up boundaries. Someone was taking you for granted. And it looks like they want to come back again. And like have this sexual escapade fantasy with you that's going nowhere fast. Let's see what is happening for Aquarius. What else do we have? For, we got abundance coming in. Keep a positive mindset, Aquarius. This is how you bring in abundance. You know, even when you don't feel like it's coming, keep a positive mindset. You're manifesting exactly what you want. And we saw that with the new moon there. There was someone trying to hold you back. Or keep you in an energy of stagnation. Let's see what else is happening. Camera. Reminiscing. Yep, that's that person. Keepsake. Um, learn from the past. So you're learning from the past. This person is reminiscing about you. Aquarius, I don't think you're coming back. Somebody was gaslighting you, not showing their true feelings when you were with them. And now that you left... They want, I don't know, maybe they may come back and show you a little bit, but it's just to get you back on board. Let's see what else is happening for Aquarius. Coffee cup, you definitely could be meeting somebody new, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted. Friendship could be coming in for you. You're ascending, Aquarius. So some of you are transit, transcending the obstacles. You're learning, you're expanding, and some of you are just preparing for a union. You're about to get a, a real union, you know, a, re, a real soulmate, a real twin flame, you know, not this falsehood. Um, let's see. Not today. Yeah, you're not dealing with it today, Aquarius. Uh, you're not dealing. You're avoiding a conversation. You put up boundaries. You might even still be angry. You have to deal with that on your own time. Yeah. Can't make it up. Passion came out. This person, we talked about that with the five of wands, insane chemistry. You know, they want to have fun with you. Some escapade. That's how they look at you. That's how they look at relationships. Let's see what else is happening for Aquarius. Yeah, it was a karmic relationship. So there, you have it. Um, they were triggering you, maybe to heal something within you. It was always turmoil, always drama. 
drama, 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 chameleon. They they will push it on you and say, oh no, it's you. You know, you, you need to heal. But you're letting go and you're loving you. You've learned the lesson. Somebody resents. You may maybe you even resent meeting this person. You resent falling for them. Let's see. So you're taking some time to focus on you, self-indulgence. Doing some shadow work. Like, okay, so when you get into karmic situations or karmic relationships, karmic friendships, it's something that you... Okay, so it's something about you that attracted you to that person, right? And them to you. They need to fix something about themselves or you need to fix something about you so that you can attract healthier relationships, okay? So there were triggers in this karmic relationship and now you're doing the shadow work. So you're saying, okay, when they would piss me off or they would do me wrong, I would go off on them or I would throw a temper tantrum or I would whatever, that's not how anybody, you know, that's not how you're supposed to deal with adversity. So you're learning how to temper your emotions. You're learning how to maintain your composure, even in the face of adversity. That could be your issue. I don't know what your issue is. Maybe you shut down. That's not also how you deal with anything. Maybe you're super passive, you know? Um, so anyway, this karmic relationship it triggered that because the universe wants you to fix that before they bring you your person. Okay. And this person had you as like keys on a ring. Maybe they had more than one person that they were looking up to, to have sex with and string along one night stands. You might've been dealing with somebody who had like a sex addiction. Just nasty. They are the nasty white shirt. Mm -hmm. Wedding rings, this is what I'm saying, the universe is trying to bring a real union for you. Because you're preparing for a union with the ascending card. Wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, promised love, okay? At the bottom of the deck, so you got this person, or maybe it's you, Aquarius. You're interested in conversing more. Someone is awaiting your message, text call, hovering. So maybe you met somebody new and it's like in that new phase and it's like, well, I can't wait for, they, for them to text me back, blah, blah, blah. This could be on the good side. On the bad side of this card is that person or it's you hovering, waiting for the other person to text you back, call you back. You know, you're interested in talking more now because, you know, some people feel like as long as I can keep them talking, even if it's arguing, even if it's drama, they've got you talking. So that could be... You know, for some of you, what's going on there? Um, all right, let's see. Let's get you some advice and then we'll close out. You got good news coming to you in your affairs, your business affairs, whatever they may be, whatever you're trying to bring about. And then you got this person who is just, you know, um, trying to think of ways of, to get you to talk. Think of strategizing about you, thinking about who you're with, how you're doing it. Um, they may even be fantasizing about you, especially with the star card and the page of cups with the nasty white shirt coming up. Let's see. What is the advice for Aquarius? Yep. See, you about to meet somebody, Aquarius. When you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, no anxiety, no agitation. You're about to meet somebody, Aquarius. Especially those who have done the work. If you're just coming off a breakup and, you know, maybe you got a little more time. I can't make, wow. Look at this Aquarius. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Wow. Some of you are manifesting soulmate love. It looks like you're about to meet someone. What else? Okay. You see those flipped out. Let's see. Release. Your worries and receive universal abundance. We, we saw that abundance came out in the other deck. It's like the universe is saying, stop trying to do it all by yourself. Stop, stop trying to make this plan and that plan. And if it doesn't go according to your plan, then you think it's all wrong and you got to scratch that and then make another plan. What about going to God and asking God, what do you want me to do? 
Release, release it. Everything you need, um, your courage, your strength, your compassion, and your love, everything you need is already within you. So some of you are looking outside of yourself for fulfillment, for completion, to fill a void. No, that's not how you do it. Yep, start reclaiming uh, who you truly are. Maybe you didn't really show the world the real you, Aquarius. And don't be afraid to let go of somebody who doesn't want you. Imagine laying next to somebody who doesn't want to be there. I don't know about you, but hell no. You can get up. You can leave or I'll leave or somebody leaving. I'm telling you that. I I just couldn't do it. My I guess that's a pride thing. I could not do it. If I knew that someone did not want to be with me, go and be where you are happy. Like, I'm not about to hold you. Hell no. Do I look like a warden? Is this a jail? Get the fuck out. Like, this, this is crazy. I don't know who that's for. Make a smart decision, Aquarius, in terms of um, maybe allowing somebody to come back. Marriage is definitely in the cards for some of you, especially if you've done the work, if you're open to love, if you've healed your heart chakra, if you're waiting about, if you're waiting for an ex to come back, it's probably not for you. Just do the work and then, you know, it'll come. Magic is definitely happening in your life. You may be coming out of a season of lack. And you're definitely not listening to anybody's lies anymore. You get, you've gotten spiritually grounded. That's beautiful. And you know that somebody's got mental issues. And all they do is lie. That may be even indicative of somebody having mental issues too. This is a liar. You know, like, you know, they're deluded or there's delusion, heavy delusion, you know, because they have mental issues. So, the truth doesn't know them and they don't know the truth. Okay. You have to introduce them to truth. So, um, what other, okay. So we'll leave you with these. Where are we? Yeah. Somebody wanted you to suffer. They wanted to put you under the ground or in the ground. Yeah. This is crazy. Somebody wanted you to suffer. Or maybe you suffered enough. Triplets. This could be indicative of a third party situation. Or maybe you have triplets or someone has is going to have a multiple birth. You're trying to birth about more than one thing at this time. What's going on? Page of Cups. Yeah, somebody could be pregnant. Could have a multiple birth. This could even be like pregnancy news or just, it could even be that you're just pregnant with one child. Someone also could be trying to, somebody who made you suffer in a relationship could be trying to come back and reconcile with you. This is more so like reunion. They just want to hook up. They feel like you're the one that got away. Like you escaped their wrath of... You know, them trying to maybe even bury you alive emotionally. Yeah, they feel like you're the one that got away. What is this? What else do we have for Aquarius? Yeah, Knight of Swords. So they're going to try to come back and be very persuasive. Trying to get you to come back, change your mind. They're going to be determined. Um, maybe in 1 to 11 days. It's going to happen fast. They're going to be very occupied. And we saw occupation come out. Maybe, you know, just really occupied on getting you to change your mind. I don't know why. Like, are they getting paid for this? But um, they're a weasel, deceitful, treacherous person. Um, they gain achievement by using cunning or, or deceit. By being cunning or deceitful. They're slick, slippery, sneak, and sly. Okay, say that four times. Slick, sleeper. Okay, there we go. Um, they're slick, slippery, they're sneak, and they're sly. Okay, they're a weasel. They're, and this is what they're trying to do. trying to weasel their way back into your life. This full moon could have brought enlightenment to you, but it also made somebody really realize what they missed out with you. Combustible is down here. So it's like they're about to explode with emotion for you. 
something is about to explode in your life too, Aquarius. You about to be a rich bitch, okay? Um, something is final. Somebody's also seeing your your value, or you're seeing the value in choosing yourself. You've been through a lot. You've really had to sever ties with things that didn't serve you. You were serving it. You were giving too much to it. There was no reciprocation. Things or people depleted you. So it's like you had to bring down the sword or the hammer, if you will, and just put a, an end to it. Or it was going to end you. Let me see what signs you were dealing with. Okay, so maybe Sagittarius. Okay. Um... We did have Jupiter come out Sagittarius. So this is, could you, you can have Sagittarius in your chart. You're about to see some growth, development, good luck, freedom. You could have been dealing with Scorpio. So dark side of the moon there. You have Scorpio in your chart or you're going through some deep Scorpionic change, a transformation in your life. Um, and then we have Pluto, Neptune. So you could be dealing with uh, Pisces. This is going to be like the last of it. The last of the hard times. Your intuition is heightened. Okay. Your spirituality is on point. You're beautiful. Um, your spirit, as your spirituality heightens, your beauty or your look or your handsome demeanor, it just, it just goes up. I don't know. This is a higher... Um, so this is like a higher octave of Venus. So that's why it's like, as you grow spiritually, your whole, maybe you're like shaving years off of your appearance. Juno. I don't know much about Juno, but look your Juno up. Let's see. And then we got Aquarius falling out. Um, So you get a, a really distinctive personality, Aquarius. So it's definitely maybe around your season, around your birthday, something's going to happen significant to you or about or for you. Start to wear the color silver and blue. So, you know, your genius ideas could be coming out at this time. Just incorporate you in more of what you do and not what you think the world will be receptive to. Because this talks about being yourself. Unconventional, the revolutionary. What else do we have? You could be dealing with Leo. And maybe even a Taurus. And we'll leave it there. Um... You may be getting so you're trying to work on your money and what you do on a day to day basis, maybe even your credit worthiness, reliability, being practical, um, your stability here, harvest fruits of labor. So it's like you're about to get some some money back. We saw the big payback come out and then we have the page of wands, you know, a large sum of money. Hard work paying off. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates. If it does, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Get your own personal reading at the website level. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I might change Sunday nights coming soon. I will keep you posted. Um... All links are below if you want to go ahead and, and schedule your discovery call with me. If you're a business-minded individual and you want to see if I can help you with your business, go ahead and um, schedule your dis uh, compl complimentary discovery call. And then also go ahead and sign up for the monthly KTMG. Uh, keep the momentum going uh, calls with others who are business owners also. Okay, so all links are below. Thank you. Take care and many blessings to you. We were meant to create. 
Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.